first kind of an overview of what biomedical engineering is. It's very interdisciplinary by definition because what biomedical engineering does is it really brings together a lot of engineering disciplines. So we have electrical engineers, we have mechanical engineers, um, I'm a computational biologist, and so we have lots of different people coming together to work on interesting problems in the biomedical application space. And so the exciting thing about that is we're bringing these fundamental engineering concepts and we're applying it to less well-behaved systems in bio biological and biomedical spaces. We also get to collaborate with clinicians, we get to collaborate with experimentalists, biologists, and it's a very interdisciplinary space. And so there's lots of applications for, um, for our students to work on biomechanics, which is maybe more in the mechanical area for orthopedics or tissue biomechanics, how do tissues move and, and react under stress and strain, all the way down to um, how do molecules interact with each other, how do we engineer them to do a job that we need them to do, and, and everything in between. So when I get to first interact with our students that join BME here on the Indianapolis campus, I, you know, myself am passionate about research, so I think this is a fantastic way to really get involved on the campus and to grow outside of the classroom. And so often I ask them, well, why BME for you? What was your draw to it? And we all have different stories and a lot of them are personal and people are really passionate about it. And so I urge them to you know, get involved with research. And so there are many programs you know, at Purdue that are offered and available to these you know, freshmen. I chose biomedical engineering because I was interested in medicine and technology. From a very young age, I would say about fifth grade in uh, elementary, was when my mom took my sister and I to this university workshop where we got to watch um, this live birth of a mannequin and we got to play around with sutures. Um, and that was something that really, you know, clicked with me. Um, I really saw myself working with these things as I grew up. During my time at Purdue, I've gotten to participate in all kinds of things um, through biomedical engineering. Um, after my sophomore year, I participated in a co-op um, at Cook Research, which is like an extended um, internship, and I got to work on their bench testing team, and I got to test all kinds of different medical devices like stents and catheters. Um, and I got to write reports that helped support these submissions for the FDA. Um, that was a really, really cool experience. So in terms of how BME is growing um, in Indianapolis, on the curriculum committee, we worked very closely for the last three years with our colleagues in Indianapolis to think about what, um, what the program looked like um, there before and what the program looked like in West Lafayette. And we really tried to find the best parts of both of those. And we built a really strong integrated curriculum that will support our students through multiple hands-on labs. So three semesters in a row, you will be in the lab learning uh, biomechanics skills, biomolecules, and bioelectronics through those hands-on labs. And then once you're done with those three semesters, you go straight into your hands-on junior design and senior design. And so the whole curriculum is built around hands-on experience. And um, that whole sequence is taught in exactly the same way on both locations. So when I when I tell students that might be considering, you know, what the location means to them and their training or their schooling is, you know, BME on the West Lafayette campus and BME on the Indianapolis campus. And both are fantastic, and we are one program. But what you'll get on the Indianapolis campus is access to the medical schools. And I say medical campus, it is amazing. The energy is phenomenal. And we have about five, six top tier medical centers within a five minute walk, for instance, of my lab. And so the ability to collaborate directly with the clinicians is there to get ideas for projects, it's there. To see how these medical achievements are being used right in the clinic, it's there. And so I think as somebody interested in BME, being you know down here in Indianapolis, there's just so much you can do with that. You have the opportunity to work in a hospital setting as a clinical specialist, where you get to work alongside physicians and teach them about the medical devices that your company creates, or you can go into industry and work as a quality engineer. If you're interested in medicine, but you don't want to pursue medical school, you can work as a clinical specialist and you can you know, work alongside physicians and teach them how to use medical devices that companies make. There's just so many job opportunities for students that go into biomedical engineering. Our, our program is set up to really support you to get all of those experiential opportunities because those are so valuable in terms of the experience that you get, but also the contacts that you make, the networks that you start to build, and more often than not, those will turn into long-term job offers.